Amazon finding itself in a situation here where this could be a huge headache for Bezos and the company. Now, this situation stems from Amazon's web service, or AWS. This has been the engine behind the company's spectacular recent performance with operating income of $7.2 billion last year. That is up 78% year over year. And they're saying at this point, they're in competition with Microsoft directly for this DOD contract. Now, this DOD contract is for a program that is called JEDI. It is Joint Enterprise Defense Initiative. This is a $10 billion cloud computing contract that's put out there. And at this point, they're saying an investigation has uncovered evidence of unethical conduct that would be referred to the DOD Inspector General for a separate review. Now, this unethical conduct connects to two individuals. Now, they go on to say here that this will be a winner-take-all award between two contenders, AWS and Microsoft, and that this is expected to be awarded in July. But with this being high stakes and all the money on the table, it looks like Oracle Corporation that was eliminated from the hunt. They were basically told, no, you can't get in this bid. They filed a suit with the U.S. Court of Federal Claims asserting that this Jedi process has been marred by conflicts. And they, they say that the suit alleges a pair of Amazon-connected former DOD staffers unduly influenced the proceedings in favor of AWS. I don't see that that could be too far-fetched, but this is what they're saying, and this could damage them in terms of trying to lock down this contract and then future business. But I wanted to make mention of it because we could see more headlines connected to this in days, weeks, and months ahead as this whole thing starts to come unraveled. I will be updating on this during Underground World News Live every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. And of course, the breaking news you can catch on Twitter. Make sure to follow me over there. I'll leave links below. Much love, y'all.